Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to combine VLOOKUP and CHOOSE functions to overcome the limitations of VLOOKUP function. So let's get started. First, let's understand what exactly is the limitation with VLOOKUP function. As an example, we will use this data which has different information of students like their IDs, name, class and state. On the right, we have the student ID STD07 and we are interested to pull the information of its class. We will use VLOOKUP function. Lookup value will be student ID. Table array will be first three columns as it includes both input and output columns. The column index number will be three as we need output from third column in our selection. Range lookup, we will keep it as false for exact match. Close the parenthesis and hit enter to get the output as seventh. This is something we have learned before. Now let's try to do the same thing in reverse way. Like, I have the class details and I want to pull the student ID without modifying the data arrangement. To use the VLOOKUP on any data, we must follow its rules. And we know the first rule is that the lookup value must always be in the first column of our selection. And the second rule is that all the selected columns must be adjacent to each other and must include the output column. In this case, the lookup column is class and output column is student ID. And if we try to follow the first rule of VLOOKUP, no matter how we select, lookup column will never be in the first position. It will always be at third position because our data arrangement is so. So to overcome this limitation of VLOOKUP, we will combine it with choose function. We have already learned how to use the choose function. So let's start by adding the VLOOKUP function. Lookup value will be seventh class. Now for table array, we will use choose function. The input to index number will be 1,2 in a pair of curly brackets. Input to value 1 will be the class column. Input to value 2 will be student ID column. Let's close the parenthesis for choose function. Now the output of this choose function will be a virtual table with two columns. The first column will be class, which is our lookup column and second will be student ID which is our output column and this arrangement of columns is as per the rule of VLOOKUP. The input to column index number will be 2 as our virtual table has only 2 columns and finally the range lookup will be false for exact match. Close the parenthesis and hit enter to get the output as std07. This trick of using VLOOKUP and choose function is generally known as left VLOOKUP or reverse VLOOKUP and now we know how to do it. That's what I wanted to cover in this video.